Hey everyone, I'm Illinois Fire Alarms, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of a pretty unusual device, as you probably saw by the title. I don't believe this is extremely rare, but I believe it does have some rarity to it. So I ordered it on eBay, and it costed about $31, which is kind of a lot for what it is. But when I saw it on eBay, I definitely thought it was worth buying. And I ordered it, I believe... Tuesday, which is October 26th of the time of this being filmed. So it only took about three days, which is pretty fast. As you can see, it is priority mail. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and open it. Oops, that's kind of a bad cut. box cutter away. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Bubble wrap. Always fun. All right, let's aim the camera down a bit. So there it is. As you can see, this is a Gentex device. If you look at the model. GX90S-4-3075 WR. This is a 3075 Candela GX90 mini horn strobe. And 3075 Candela is very interesting. I've never seen that before on a fire alarm device. There have, of course, been other weird Candelas that I've seen, such as on this device right here. This one is 40 slash 75 Candela, so... It's kind of close to what this one is. This one's obviously 3075 Candela, so let's go ahead and open it. There we go. As you can see, got the regular GX90 appearance. And as you can see right there, GX90 S 30 75 WR. 30 75 Candela. So definitely very interesting. And it's in very good condition. As you can see, it is new in box. Here are some screws. Got your instruction manual right here. Here's the mounting bracket. So I would assume that these screws right here are for the mounting bracket. So go ahead and set these aside. We'll take kind of a closer look at the device here. So you can see it has somewhat of the newer Gentex strobe design with these little ribs here on the strobe, but it still has kind of the somewhat of an older strobe design. It's the Gentex logo. On the back, this is a four wire GX90. So there's your terminals. These two are your strobe. These are the horn. See, it's written down there. Got some jumpers right there, which I believe are for two and four wire operation toggling between that. And of course I show you the label. It was made July 15th, 1997. So it's decently old. So yeah. So I guess the only thing we really have left to do is to test this device. So let's go ahead and test it. All right, so now I have it wired to my power supply and I'm gonna run only the strobe first, then the horn and then the horn and the strobe. I read the manual a little to figure out the jumper system and I have it set on four wire currently. It does come factory on two wire operation. So I have it on four wire just so I could power the horn and strobe separately. So let's go ahead and power up the strobe first. So here we go. You can see pretty typical Gentex strobe. It does actually flash rather faster than usual, is what it seems. Yeah, it definitely flashes a bit faster. And obviously the Candela is 3075, so when you're looking straight at it, it's 75, and you're looking at it kind of from an angle or from the side, it is 30 Candela. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the horn. 
Okay, so I just wired up the horn now. So let's go ahead and test that out. And before I do this, you may or may not want to turn your volume down just because this is a mini horn and it sounds like a smoke alarm, which is a very high pitched and very painful beep sound. So here we go. Three, two, one. So yeah, definitely very, very loud. All right, so I've now just placed both jumpers in. So now it should be running on two wire operation. So anyway, besides that, let's go ahead and run the horn and the stroke together. So there you go. All right, so overall, my final thoughts on this device, I do like it a lot. And I do like the fact that it is 3075 Candela, very interesting and unique, never seen that before. And overall, it's just a very nice device. I like the fact that it is four wire, or at least has the option to be four wire. And yeah, so. Anyways, that is all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.